The Holy Tales. Hello, children, and I'm back to tell you a new story from the Bible. It is about the new queen that was chosen for the kingdom of Persia. Wow! That sounds awesome. All right then. Let's start with the story. I'm sure you're going to love it. The king of Persia threw a big party, which lasted for six months. He invited all the important people of his kingdom. When his party ended, he held another special banquet for the officials and the servants of the palace, which too lasted for seven days. The banquet was held in the courtyard. Which was beautifully decorated with white and blue banners with purple ribbons. There were gold and silver couches on the marble floor, and drinks were served in gold cups. The servants and the officials could have them as much as they wanted. At the same time as the king's banquet, the queen of Persia threw a banquet for the women of the palace. On the seventh day of the king's banquet, the king commanded that Queen Vashti be brought to his banquet. He wanted her to wear her royal crown and let the men see her great beauty. But Queen Vashti refused to come. This angered the king. His advisers advised him that if the queen was led away for her refusal, then all the other women in the kingdom would think they could disobey their husbands too. They suggested that Queen Vashti be forever banished from the king's presence. The king liked the idea, so he banished Vashti and let the whole kingdom know about it. Soon after this, the king realized what he had done and that he needed a new queen. So he sent his men to find the most beautiful girl in their region and bring them to the palace, so that he could choose his new queen. In the city lived a Jewish man called Mordecai. His young cousin Esther lived with him too. When her parents died, he adopted her and raised her as his own daughter. Esther was extremely beautiful, and so the king's men chose her as one of the girls to be the queen. The man in charge of all the women was very impressed with Esther, and so she was brought to the palace and given special treatment. She was also given servants for herself. However, Esther told no one in the palace that she was a Jew, as Mordecai advised her not to. After a year, when she was brought before the king, he was left amazed by her beauty. He immediately put the crown on her head and declared her queen. And Mordecai became an official in the king's court. I want to be as pretty as the new queen someday. You are very pretty, Freckles. You look like a princess. I do. Yes, Freckles. You are very pretty. So now, who wants to answer today's question? Great! So tell me, what was the name of the new queen? Her name was Esther. Well done. We'll be back soon. Until next time. To watch more videos, please subscribe. On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep.